Hi guys, I'm Carl from Carl's Farmers and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to attach a handle to a cup and turn it into a mug. And I will also include quite some tips that you can use to prevent your handles from cracking. My handles almost never crack, so I hope these tips work for you as well. And I pull all of my handles, but you can of course make your handles in any way you'd like. For example, you can just roll out some clay and flatten it a little bit, or use a clay extruder, just whatever works for you, but attaching them works the same. So without any further ado, let's get started with attaching the handles. Because my handle is quite wet and soft, I prefer to first try it a bit with a heat gun. This will help with preventing it from cracking. The clay cracks because of the difference in dryness. When your cup is drier than your handle, your handle will shrink more, which will cause it to crack. So it is best to make your handle as dry as possible and to leave your mug as wet as possible. But since I trim my mugs before attaching the handle, they can be too wet. So it's important to make the handle as dry as possible, but don't make it too dry, otherwise it will already crack while bending it. And then I bend the handle into a shape that I like. The first handle that I'm going to show you will be quite a basic shape, but after that I will also show you two different shapes, which will be a bit more interesting. And as you can see, I cut it at the right size and in the right shape that I like. I found out that it was a little bit too big, so I cut away some excess clay at the bottom. And as you can see here, I cut diagonally away from the cup, if that makes sense. So on the top and the bottom, I cut into the same direction. I like to use this piece of fabric to put my cup on top of. You can use any piece of fabric that you want. This is knitted and quite soft, which is great to just hold the cup in place while I'm working on the handle. And then I grab my handle and I place it on top of the cup to see where I like to attach it. I just bend it a little bit more and I see where I want to attach it. It was still a bit too big, so I made a little scratch with my nail and then I cut away some excess clay to make the handle a bit smaller. And then I place the handle on top of the cup again and I make sure that it's in the right spot and in the spot that I want. And I make sure that it's straight. Here's a picture from above. As you can see, I like my handle to be a little bit lower than the top, so I don't want the handle to stick out of the rim. But that's just my own preference. And then I take my needle tool and I make some small lines at the parts where I'm going to attach the handle. And then I take the handle away. And then I grab this scratching tool from Xeme Tools, which I use to scratch at the part where I'm going to attach the handle. If you don't have this tool, you could also use your needle tool to make scratches. It will just take a little bit longer. And I do this at the top part and the bottom part of the places where I'm going to attach the handle. And then I grab this brush with a bit of vinegar and I apply this vinegar at the same spots. This will help with attaching the handle and make it quite strong. And then I grab my seam tool again and I scratch again at the same spots. Then I grab my handle again and I place it at the parts that I just prepared. It's important that right from the start you make sure that the handle is straight and aligned. Because the vinegar dries quite quickly and the handle gets stuck quite quick as well. And then I put some pressure on it to make sure it gets stuck everywhere. And while putting pressure on it, I hold my left hand on the inside to protect the cup from changing from shape. And then I start smoothing out the handle. I do this by pressing some clay towards the side at this part. It might seem like I'm pressing quite hard, but I'm mainly pressing sidewards, so I'm not putting too much pressure on the cup, otherwise you might harm it and change the shape of it. And as you can see, I try to make the handle into a fluent shape to the cup. This is just the way that I like to make my handles. And I also go over it with this tool. I'm not sure what this tool is called, but you can get it at quite a lot of places. And it is quite handy because it's quite small. So you could also only use this tool instead of your finger for when your handles are smaller or maybe your fingers are thicker. It might be easier. And then I do the same thing at the bottom part here. So I first go over it with my finger and then I go over it with this tool to make it one fluent shape and make it nice and smooth. And then I grab this little knife and I cut away some excess clay at the sides. I do this because I like my handle to have the same wideness everywhere. This is just my own preference and just the way how I like to make my handles. So it's not necessary but I just like the look of it. And I do this at the top part and also at the bottom part. But I often have less clay on the bottom part because I smooth it out a little bit less. And then I take a sponge to get rid of any lines and just to make it extra smooth. So I go over all of the sides that I just touched and smooth it out with the sponge. And then I like to go over it with my fingers to smooth it out even more and get rid of the little lines that were made by the sponge. You could also sand this after it has been biscuit fired, but I'm not a big fan of sanding, so I prefer to make it as smooth as possible before the biscuit fire. 
and then I do the same thing at the bottom so I first go over it with the sponge to smooth it out and then I also go over it with my fingers. It often occurs that you have some little cracks in the handle. This is just from bending it while it's a bit dry. This isn't a problem, I just go over it with a sponge to smooth it out and get rid of the little cracks. And then the handle is finished and I think it looks quite nice. <laughs> and what I would recommend to do is wrap it in plastic, just a piece of plastic or a bag that you wrap around the cup. This will make it dry very slow the first few days. I would recommend to leave it in here for 3 days. This will actually prevent it from cracking as well because when it's in the plastic it dries only a little bit or almost not and that way the handle and the cup itself become the same dryness and this will prevent it from cracking as I spoke about in the video before. And then onto the next handle. With this handle I will be making a little curl at the bottom of the handle. I think this looks quite cool and elegant but it is quite easy to do so it's a nice touch to your handle. I first cut away some clay at one side of the handle and then I flatten it a bit. This makes it easier to roll it up and then I start rolling it into the shape of a curl as you can see. It cracks a little bit and I got rid of this cracks by going over it with the sponge and then I rolled it up further and I got rid of the scratches again. You can make the curl as big as you want but I prefer to leave it quite small because otherwise it might lose its elegance. And then I use my heat gun again to dry it a little bit more so that it doesn't crack as I talked about before. And then I bend it into the shape of a handle that I like and I cut away some clay that I don't need. Then I place it on top of a cup again and I see where I want to attach it and I again make some lines with my needle tool and I saw that the handle was still a bit too big so I cut away some excess clay with a little knife and then I started scratching again on both of the parts that I'm going to attach the handle. Then I applied some vinegar with a brush and I scratch it again with the same tool from Xeem Tools. And then I grab the handle and place it on top and I put some pressure on it. This time you can smooth out the bottom part since there is the curl. So it's important to make sure that this gets stuck by putting quite some pressure on it. But be careful when doing this because you don't want to ruin the shape of the curl. And then I smooth out the top part in the same way as I did before. So I'm using this tool and go over it quite a lot so that it becomes one fluent shape. Then I use this little knife to cut away some excess clay at the sides. And then I go over it with a sponge to smooth it out. I also like to go over the sides of the curl with the vinegar brush because sometimes you can see a little bit of clay or some scratches. Make sure not to have too much vinegar in your brush while doing this otherwise you might make it too wet and this will actually cause cracking the handle. And at this point you can still change the shape of the handle a little bit by just pressing it very carefully. Please be careful otherwise you might break the whole handle. And then I again wrap it into plastic to prevent it from cracking and let it dry very slow. And then onto the last handle. This one I will be attaching a bit different from the ones before. Because I will be attaching the top part of this handle horizontally onto the cup. And to make this easy I tap onto the side of the handle. This way the clay becomes a bit thicker here. And this will actually be the part that will be attached to the cup. And the bigger you make this the easier it will become to attach it. And then I also cut away some clay at the bottom to make the handle into the right shape. And as you can see I also cut the bottom diagonal but this time I cut it the other way diagonal so that it is a little bit horizontally onto the cup but not as much as the top part if you know what I mean. But if you do want to attach the top part and the bottom part in the same way you can of course do that and then you would just have to cut it straight off and then tap it again just like I did with the top part. And then I again made some lines with my needle tool as a place where I want to attach the handle. And I scratched these parts with a tool from Xeem Tools. And then I applied some vinegar and I scratched it again. And then I pressed the handle on top of those spots. And I made sure that it got stuck and as I always do I hold my hand on the inside while pressing with my other hand on the outside to protect the cup. And then I smoothed out the bottom, I smoothed it out in the same way as before. This went quite easy because it fitted quite nicely and because of that I also didn't have to cut away any clay at the sides. And then I start attaching the top part of the handle. I also like to use this tool for it. You could use your fingers if you don't have this tool. But I often make scratches with my nails when I use my fingers. So that's why this tool is great as well. And as you can see I twist it a little bit to press the clay onto the cup. And to make it into one part. And then I go over it with a sponge again to smooth it out. And make sure everything is just nice and smooth. <laughs> and then I wrap it in plastic and leave it to dry for 3 days. And then I take it out of the plastic and let it dry before biscuit fire. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it or learned something new from it. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And if you're going to make these handles yourself and you're going to post them on Instagram, please tag me at Ceramics because I'm quite excited to see which shape you have given them. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!